Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do a foundation wear test and the exciting thing about this one is it's a drugstore foundation. So today I'm going to be testing out the Pixie Beauty Balm. This is marketed as a high coverage foundation and I was just really interested in trying this. I have tried a foundation from Pixie before in the past and actually really liked it. It's the conceal tint and conceal or something i'll link it below i'll link my review below as well it's a really old video i'm gonna wear this for about six hours today i'm actually gonna be out and about getting things done so it'll be a good wear test and it's 100 degrees today so it's going to be tested in the texas heat so anyway without further ado let's go ahead and get into the review i don't want this to be too long make sure you grab something to drink grab a snack and let's go ahead and get into it So I'm going to go and apply a little bit of SPF and then we'll get into the product. I want the SPF to have time to sit on my skin before I apply the foundation. So I'm just going in with my Elta MD UV Elements SPF 44. And I've already done my skincare routine, but I just didn't apply my SPF yet. So I'm going to do that now. So again, this is the Pixie by Petra Beauty Balm. It is called their High Coverage Foundation. You get 1.7 ounces in this product, and she retails for $22. It does contain dimethicone and phenoxyethanol, um, and, uh, but I also see that it contains glycerin. It has the ceramides, which I actually really, really love that, hyaluronic acid. So I'm just gonna take it right out of the box. Um, I actually really like the packaging of this. It's um, a squeezy, t or a, a pump, a tube with a pump. Wow, words. So it's got this nice packaging, very much like an IT Cosmetics CC cream, something like that. I love packaging like this because it's easy to dispense, and then you also get every last drop, and sometimes even I'll cut the end off of the tube and I can get product out of there as well. Um, this actually looks like it's going to be a good shade match for me. I'm quite tan right now. So let's go ahead and start on this side of the face. Ooh, that's actually quite dark. I'm just going to dot it around. And then I'm just going to apply the remainder on the other side. I think, honestly, one pump was a lot. And I'm just going to start rubbing this across the face. It definitely feels very moisturizing. Um, actually feels really nice and kind of smooth on the skin. Uh, it does have a smell. There is a slight scent to it. Kind of smells like the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream if you've ever tried that. And the shade is a little dark for my face, but I think it matches my neck and my body pretty well. All right, so that's one layer with the foundation. I'm not getting full coverage at all. I feel like I'm getting very sheer coverage. Like, I feel like I don't even have light coverage. Actually looks quite sheer. So I'm gonna go and blend out the other side with the brush and see how that goes. And then we'll try and layer and build this up. All right, so that's one layer across both sides. I'm getting very sheer coverage. I wanna say like like the lightest light coverage. Um, yeah, I would not call this a full coverage foundation. So I'm gonna layer it, and I actually really liked the brush. I used my one of my favorites. This is the Lima Pure Foundation Brush. I'm gonna use this to build it up. I think it's just gonna be a little bit easier. Um, but like I said, I just like to use my hands to really get a feel for the foundation. It does feel very moisturizing, almost like you're just applying a lotion or a nice kind of very moisturizing cream. Um, so it feels really nice. I didn't have any issues with streakiness or blending it out. Um, blended in very, very nicely. And honestly, I like the way that it looks. I'm just not getting the coverage that it's claiming. So let's go ahead and try to build this up I'm just gonna take a little bit more and dot this around the face and see if we can build this up to have a little bit more coverage because it says it's full coverage all 
All right, that's definitely more of like, I still want to say this is not even medium coverage. Maybe like, maybe very, very light medium coverage. It, build, it uh, built up very easily. I didn't really have to work at it. Um, it layers really nicely. I love how easily it's blending out. Like there's no streakiness or not having to work really. It blends out really nicely. Um, I will say the scent is pretty strong. Oh, you know what? There is fragrance in here. I, didn't, I totally missed that. And there's also beeswax. So this is not a uh, vegan formula. All right, so this is what the foundation is looking like right now. This is with two layers. So not seeing full coverage yet, but this is really nice. I, th I would say this is like a good medium coverage. You can still see freckles. You can still see some little tiny spots down here on my chin, on my cheek. Yeah, I would say this is like light medium coverage. Just for science, I want to see if I can build this up one more time. I'm not going to layer it up after this anymore because at this point, like... I don't want to layer it up anymore. I don't want that much product. So I'm just gonna take a little bit more. An area is just where I feel like I'll be able to see that coverage. So just some kind of dark spots and things like that. All right, so I haven't blended out this side yet. I actually went and dampened my sponge and I'm gonna blend this out with my sponge and see um, if that might help with building up the coverage. All right, so here we've got three layers. I'm gonna stop here. I would say this is like medium coverage. I would not call this full coverage. It's pretty, I actually don't really prefer full coverage, but in terms of it claiming to be full coverage, I would say this is like a solid medium coverage. All right, the time is 11 o'clock. So I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup. I'll come back, let you know if I had any issues. I don't think I will, but if I do, I'll let you know. Um, I'm going to do a very light natural makeup today because I really want to see how this foundation performs. I don't want to alter it too much or, you know, just affect the results in any way. I always keep my makeup very, very simple when I'm doing a review. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup. I'll be right back. All right, makeup is done. I will list all of the products that I use today. It's just kind of like my everyday go-to makeup, stuff that I can rely on, that I know how it works and performs. So we shouldn't, I, I tried to control as much as I could with the makeup so that if anything is different, um, it's most likely gonna be the foundation. But I didn't have any issues with applying anything. Everything looks really nice right now. I don't have, any issues with the way it looks. I can still smell it. Um, so I'm curious to see how that will progress throughout the day. Um, I still have a nice little bit of glow going on, but it's nothing oily or too greasy looking. And then um, of course I will test this in the 100 degree heat today. Um, like I said, I'm gonna be out and about, so we'll really see how this performs with sweat and heat and all the things. So uh, again, I'm calling the time at 11. I will try and check in with you at some point today, but if not, I'll definitely do a final check-in and let you know my thoughts. So I will see y'all later. All right, guys, so I'm gonna do a really quick check-in. I'm about to take my youngest to jujitsu. Um, so I thought I would just go ahead and check in now before my final check-in at the end of the day. It's 2.30, so it's been three and a half hours. I applied this foundation at around 11. So I thought I would show you what it looks like. I'm actually filming on my phone, so I'm not sure about the quality, but I thought I would show you what it looks like in natural light. So 
I'm just actually sitting in my office right now. Um, so yeah, I'm just sitting here in my office getting some work done and I thought I would just kind of show you what it looks like. So I have been sneezing and blowing my nose all morning. So it has rubbed off on my nose just a tiny, tiny bit. I have this little red spot there. So that's starting to show through, but everything else looks so good. I don't look oily. I don't look greasy. Um, it still looks really, really good on the rest of my face. Just my nose area. Um, I've been, I've been blowing my nose all morning. So this is like right in front of my window this is what the makeup is looking like. And that's actually Chris's desk. So we actually share an office. My desk is on this side. His desk is on this side. Um, so this is our office. This is what the foundation's looking like. It looks really, really good. Um, it's not settling too, too bad in my smile lines. You can kind of see right there. There's a little indentation, a little bit of creasing. Um, and then, like I said, my nose, it rubbed off. But, I mean, I don't even know any other foundation that wouldn't get rubbed off from blowing my nose all morning. Um, but, yeah, that is the only thing that I have to say. I don't smell it anymore either. I smelled it for, like, a good... I want to say like 20 to 30 minutes after I applied it. It has gone away since then. But yeah, so that was really the only downside so far just with this wear test is just I did not, I did not like the smell. But other than that, it's looking really, really good. So this is again three and a half hours in. Um, I'm about to go actually like test it, test it in the heat. Um, and uh, I will meet y'all back at the end of the day and let you know what I think. Um, I'll probably look a lot more disheveled at that point in my day, but it'll be a good wear test. So yeah, three and a half hours, not too shabby. It's looking really, really good. So I will catch up with y'all later. All right, guys, it is time for the final check-in. Um, it's actually 5.30, so I've had this on for six and a half hours. Um, I was going to try and drag this out a little longer, but I'm exhausted um, both the kids are out with Chris and I really just want to take a shower and like shave, wash my hair, like all those things that I very rarely have time to do. So I figured six and a half hours, that's a pretty good wear test, especially the day that I've had, I've been outside and I feel like I've really put this foundation to the test. So we're going to go ahead and call it. Um, six and a half hours. I was just looking at my skin and I have y'all zoomed in so you can actually see this. Um, but it is definitely sinking into smile lines. You can see right there. Not looking the greatest on my chin, which is really where foundations tend to start to break up and just not look great. If if a foundation is going to start doing anything wonky, it's going to be on my chin first and foremost. Um, so I feel like it's not that it looks awful, it just, it looks like I've been wearing it all day. It really does. Um, I'm definitely looking a lot more glowy than my second check-in at, what was that, 2.30? Uh, yeah, I'm definitely looking a lot more glowy. That makes sense. I've been sweating my butt off all afternoon. Um, but as a whole, just kind of my final thoughts... The foundation looks pretty good. I, I did do three layers of this foundation, which if I'm going to be wearing it just, you know, in my own time, um, I probably only do like one layer, maybe two, maybe. So I did layer it on pretty heavily. And I think considering that as well, it's actually looking really nice. Like my cheek area looks really good. My forehead looks really good. Even like my nose area. It looks really good, and especially considering the fact that I've been blowing my nose all morning. My final thoughts on this, I really enjoy this. I'm curious to see how this will perform with just one layer, um, so you're just using less product. Um, but I think it looks great. It looks really, really good. 
Um, also, like I mentioned when I first applied it, I don't feel that this is full coverage at all. I think medium coverage at most. Also something very interesting, I did not mention the finish when I was reading about this foundation in my initial application, and that's because nowhere on the website does it say anything about the finish. It just talks about the feel of the foundation. It's very moisturizing. It's got high coverage, but there's really nothing about the finish of this. So I would say this is about a satin finish. It's not overly glowy, and honestly, when I first applied it, I felt like it kind of leaned a little bit more matte, especially, and then obviously, especially after applying powder, it was definitely more matte. But I would say this is about like a satin kind of natural finish. I wouldn't call this glowy. I wouldn't call it matte. I would think it's like a nice in between. I will keep y'all posted. I will keep using this and uh, just let you know along the way. I'll update you in my monthly makeup kit video at the end of the month um, and just kind of let you know how it wore throughout the month. But yeah really enjoyed this. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I hope you enjoyed this wear test. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Remember, I love you, God loves you, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. You